Hi, it's me, Susan, again, trying to entertain you by reading one of my old columns. This one was in March 1981, and it is called A Surprise in the Feed Bag. Feed bags should carry a warning label. Caution, contents may be hazardous to your health. I know there is no risk in the feed itself. I'm sure if someone wanted to, they could munch along with the animals and never be adversely affected. For that matter, probably some registered cows in the area eat better than we do. The feed is only a draw to the actual menace, mice. We, of course, don't have little critters like that on our place. The ones seen here are only visiting. They belong to someone else. But even these visitors evoke a response. Mine is usually quite loud when I'm surprised by one in a feed bag. One third full feed bags are the black hole of the green room. They should be approached with great care. Something I don't always remember to do when I'm in a hurry. During one past experience, my hand found its way into the dark recess of a corn bag. It was met by an ugly ball of fur. Instantly, my heart jumped with me. Heart attack. Well, at least heart palpitations. Now you can see the reason behind the warning. There is good justification for the label. Upon seeing people, seeing it, people will first think and scoop later. There would be time to beat the bag, swing a shovel, or get a cat. A quick kitty, 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 kitty would eliminate all the thrills and chills. These live mouse traps are kept for such chores on the farm. They need the chance to work and prove they are worth their keep. If a cat is not available, the job of ending the mouse's life is left to me. When this happens, somehow the feedback always happens to fall over all by itself and the mouse escapes. I'm saved until the next time. This kind of warning label would save lives. Well, at least it would save one life mine. And isn't that worth a little ink? I think so. Have a good day. Stay well. See you next time.